Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and it is time for Amnesia yet again. So let's go and pick up where we left off. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I know it's a little bit cliched because I mean everybody and their dog has played Amnesia, so I mean probably a lot of you have played this, but um, I don't know, I thought it might be interesting to give it a, um, a hack from somebody who, one, hasn't played it. Um, and two, um, isn't gonna freak out and get all crazy, you know, you know, freaky, freaking out, flailing of arms and, 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 and so on, um, <laughs> whilst playing it. Um, I believe that this is where we came through. Or at least doesn't anticipate getting that way. Uh, oh yeah. You're freaked out about a locked door? Um, okay, well that's blood. So, that's probably not great. Um, well let's move that to the side. Um, how we do it on our <clears throat> oil? Let's go ahead and fill that up. All is good. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Hmm. How do we restore sanity? Is there, like, a way to do that? Alright, well, there... Is this something significant? No. Just a thing. Okay, well, we can stop using. <sighs> Excuse me. Just a bunch of scrolls. Maps. Floor plans. Okay, well, apparently, um, fragile but not breakable by hand. Say I were to take this and go. Hoo! Okay, well. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that way. Okay, so... No doubt we are going to encounter um, one of the lovely puzzles that I think got me away from the game initially. Okay, let's go and pick up this note. Uh, another region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, um, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Okay. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will, be, uh, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep re motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies were wrought by their tainted souls. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and uh, empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently th through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Uh, it is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, 
the well-known erudite, uh, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only never to be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal Baron, the, Marin, uh, the Baron of Brandenburg, lives in a reclusive uh, lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, uh, nearby Alstadt, and like most of, uh, like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals a little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander claimed uh, Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The, uh, the family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death, death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. Uh, this has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, the one and the same... Uh, who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted, uh, yeah, the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. Let's go and light that. Um, is there enough light in here to, uh, yeah. Push it real good. Okay, well, it will move. There are scratch marks. And we can very clearly see behind it. But we can't push it. And we can't pull it. Um. Hmm, I wonder. What the hell did that do? Okay, um, sorry, I, th oh, okay. I'm just looking around for things that may or may not be moving. Okay, so we pull that, pull that. There we go. And hopefully this won't close behind us. Okay. Uh, oh, a key! A wine cellar key! Get out of here. Whoa. Can, no, we can't bring that with us. Uh, nothing of consequence in here. Ooh, another note. Uh, regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent mind handling of the human human vessels. Uh-oh. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. Oh. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. That is, uh, 
what the French call a pretty damn suspect. And, um, I know, because I'm French. True story. Um... I really like the artwork in this game. Like, n not only, like, the, the actual artwork, like, the textures and stuff like that, but, like, the, the... The artwork that they used for the, uh the paintings and stuff like that. Alright, well, um... Hmm. Study? Okay, well, we've already been in here. Wait. What? What the crap was that? Um, so maybe we go the other way. What the crap? Okay. Wait. Look at history. We got through here. Okay, there we go. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back through here. Because I'm pretty sure these are rooms that I didn't explore. Yeah, definitely. So I would have picked up this tinder box and this note. Um Hopefully that guy doesn't come back. What the heck? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here. Here and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, we came through one of these ways, which I believe is now completely um, blocked off. So we're going to go back through here. with uh, our friend. Hmm. Well.
well. I think he's behind me. But it won't budge. A. Are there any of those books? Can I not open? No. Well. Let's go back to the extra tall and provided that nothing crazy happens in here. Cellar now. Um, wine cellar's down here, right? All right. So we are going to save that for the next time. Um, so if you uh, want to see, uh, you know help support this video or the series or the channel, uh, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed. Feel free to do that as well, uh, if you'd like. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Um, if you want to join me on Steam or on Facebook, there should be some links to do so in the description down below. I've been Mike, you have been you, this has been Amnesia the Dark Descent, and um, Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode.